the limits for one man in, in effect? Well, as the presidential race enters the final stretch, Senator John McCain and several of his key advisors have been sharpening a new line of attack against Senator Barack Obama, charging that his plan, his tax plan amounts to socialism. McCain first inserted the charge into an address he recorded for broadcast Sunday on talk radio stations. My opponent's answer showed that economic recovery isn't even his top priority. His goal, as Senator Obama put it, is to, quote, spread the wealth around. You see, he believes in redistributing wealth, not in policies that help us all make more of it. Joe, in his plain-spoken way, said this sounded a lot like socialism. And a lot of Americans are thinking along those same lines. In the best case, spreading the wealth around is a familiar idea from the American left. And that kind of class warfare sure doesn't sound like a new kind of politics. In other words, Barack Obama's tax plan would convert the IRS into a giant welfare agency, redistributing massive amounts of wealth at the direction of politicians in Washington. I suppose when you voted against lowering taxes 94 times, as Senator Obama has done, a new definition of the term tax credit comes in handy. At least in Europe, the socialist leaders who so admire my opponent are up front about their objectives. Many of McCain's supporters picked up on the charge that Obama advocates socialist policies, and the issue made its rounds in the corporate media. Socialism, it's come up on the campaign trail now. Sure. Governor, is Barack Obama a socialist? No, there is a free lunch. What is the free the lunch? The free lunch is that you're taking the wealthy in America and the big earners, right. okay? You're taking money away from them, and you're giving it to people who don't. That's called income <laughs> redistribution. It's a socialist tenet. Bill, Bill. Come on, you know that. Bill, you went on. to Harvard. There's no question that Barack Obama has been steeped in and marinated with the socialist ethos from the time he studied at Columbia University. For months, I've been telling you, Barack Obama, um, and more his wife than Barack, I mean, at least looking at her language, I believe there's a socialist agenda there for America. When you punish people for making more money and you reward them for nothing, uh, that is socialism. Go and that's Governor, a terrible, terrible way for this country to move. Governor. On Fox News Sunday, host Chris Wallace asked McCain directly about the issue. But you did it indirectly. So let me ask you for some straight talk. Do you think that Senator Obama is a socialist? Do you think that his plans are socialism? I think his plans of the, are redistribution of the wealth. He said it himself. We need to spread the wealth around. Now, is that that's, one of, that's one of the tenets of socialism, but it's more the liberal left, which he's always been on. He's always been in the left lane of American politics. That's why he voted 94 times against any tax cuts or for tax increases. That's why he voted for the Democratic resolution, a budget resolution, that would, re would impose taxes on, raise taxes on some individual who makes $42,000 a year. That's why he has the most liberal voting record in the United States but, but Senate. Senator, when we talk so, about so uh, is, is one of the tenets of socialism redistribution of the wealth? Not just socialism, a lot of other liberal and left-wing philosophies. Redistribution of the wealth? I don't believe in it. I believe in wealth creation by Joe the Plumber. But, but Senator, you yeah. voted for the $700 billion bailout that's being used partially to nationalize American banks. Isn't and, that socialism? Yeah, that is reacting to a crisis that it's due to greed and excess in Washington. And what this administration is doing wrong and what Paulson is doing wrong is not going out and buying up home loan mortgages, home mortgages, and giving people new mortgages at the new value of their home so they can stay in their home. They're bailing out the banks. They're bailing out these institutions. But you voted for that. Of course. It was a package that had to be enacted because the economy was about to go into the tank. Is Barack Obama a socialist and is being called a socialist a smear? Rick MacArthur is publisher and president of Harper's Magazine, award-winning journalist and author. His latest book is You Can't Be President, The Outrageous Barriers to Democracy in America. He joins us in the Firehouse studio. Uh, he's got the latest issue of MacArthur's How to Save Capitalism. Welcome to Democracy Now! Thanks for having me. Well, is Barack Obama a socialist? Barack Obama is a socialist like Harper's Magazine is a media conglomerate. Uh, it's the most preposterous charge I've heard in a, in a pretty crazy campaign. 
uh, when they keep saying that uh, Barack Obama puts uh, uh, socialism ahead of uh, entrepreneurship, I keep thinking of the vast amount of money he's been collecting from Wall Street for his campaign. His number one bu bundler is Goldman Sachs, uh, which is, has given him up to this point, I think, about $740,000. Uh, the New York Times just the other day has revealed that there's a new way uh, the two campaigns have come up with to get cash out of Wall Street, and this is Democrats and Republicans alike, uh, with these joint campaign committees. Twelve Goldman Sachs employees were re revealed in this latest report uh, to have given more than $25,000 apiece to Obama's campaign. Uh, you could make the argument that Barack Obama always puts Wall Street first. Uh, I'm not going to make that argument because I don't know how he's going to turn out as president. But up to this point, he's been a champion of Wall Street interests. His number one uh, uh, economic advisor is Robert Rubin, uh, the senior uh, executive or, or chairman of the executive committee of Citigroup, the former Treasury secretary. Uh, the guy who, alongside Alan Greenspan, was arguing against the, a regulation of the derivatives market in the 1990s very forcefully. Um, and in his own book, In the Audacity of Hope, um, um, Obama talks a lot about how much he admires investment bankers, how much he likes bankers, how, how he feels comfortable with them and with corporate lawyers. Uh, so it's an absurd charge. But it's even more absurd when you realize that, as uh, Chris Wallace pointed out in that clip, uh, John McCain, uh, Robert Rubin, they're all socialists now. The only one who's not a socialist, apparently, is Alan Greenspan. He's just shocked at what's happened. Uh, he's suddenly found a flaw in the plot of one of his Ayn Rand novels. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the plot flaw is, because he doesn't, he doesn't specify. But uh, the notion that this is a left-right argument is absurd. Is, is patently absurd, given where the money is coming from to finance these campaigns. Now, if, uh, if Obama gets out there and denounces Wall Street, that's fine. The question is, and McCain is doing the same thing, uh, uh, greed on Wall Street is a constant in our history. Uh, the question now is, is a President Obama going to take this crisis, going to take this possible mandate? Because apparently, uh, it's backfiring for McCain. The polls are widening. Uh, Obama's going further and further ahead. It, it seems to suggest that the American people are saying, hey, socialism, this sounds pretty good. Uh, <laughs> if he's a socialist, I'm for it. Everybody seems to be for it. Uh, what's he going to do with this mandate? Is he going to appoint one of the usual suspects as Treasury Secretary, or is he going to do something different? Is he going to uh, do something uh, more specific about regulating these markets? Or is he going to uh, rely on the advice of people like Robert Rubin? Well, not, but his his apparent definition of socialism as redistribution of the wealth uh, sort of negates the fact that American taxation policy, at least at the federal level, has always been a progressive taxation policy. The more money you make, the higher you get taxed. Uh, so that this has been part of the, of the American history since the development of our tax system. Well, since 1912, when we instituted an income tax, when the top remember the top rate in 1964. The last time we had this kind of crazy debate between the Goldwater Republicans and, uh, and Lyndon Johnson, the top marginal rate was 91 percent. Barack Obama is only proposing to raise or restore the top marginal rate from the current 35 percent uh, to 39.6 percent, which is what it was under the Clinton administration. This is a very modest, very, uh, you might even say, timid. Uh, response to what's in the in the last uh, 15 years been a redistribution of wealth from the bottom up to the top. What is the mortgage crisis except Wall Street picking on people who don't know better, who are not very well educated about the finance market, and really robbing them, taking the money up to the top? That's redistribution of wealth. I mean, and, and isn't also upwards. the the issue of. Uh, capital gains tax versus income tax, where the, that's where the real money is in the capital gains tax, and Obama has not been very radical in that, has well, he? Well, all he's, again, he's proposing a, an increase of from 50, the current 15 percent to 25 percent, which is where it's been more or less for the last 60 or 70 years. It's, it's fluctuated in the 20s and the 30s. Uh, but the important thing to know about that is uh, Obama, in his quest for campaign money, uh, and votes was in a conflict of interest. John Edwards pushed him a little bit to the left when he persuaded him 
uh, to call for a change in the tax code so that you would tax hedge fund partner income uh, at the regular personal income tax rate instead of at the capital gains rate. So instead of paying 15 percent, they'd be paying today 35 percent. But he stopped talking about that in the last three, four, five months. You don't hear him talking about that anymore. And I think that's a kind of a compromise he's made where he says, well, at least if we raise capital gains from 15 to 25, uh, the hedge fund partners will have to at least pay 25 percent. But that's still a lot less than the top personal uh, income tax rate of 35 or 39 percent. I mean, it's amazing that the McCain campaign is using this line of attack because they supported the bailout. Now, I'm not saying the bailout was socialist, but it does involve nationalizing debt and, well, ultimately privatizing the profit, the, the guys that get the, the, 